Good morning, uh, my name is Calvin, and in this video series, we're going to be building a modern shed uh, for my parents that I have designed over the past uh, week or so. And uh, yeah, this is day one of the build. All right, before we get started, we got to talk about what the shed is built on. So um, we started off here with just uh, an old shed base. We had a metal corrugated shed in the back. It's been there for about 10 years. So there was a pre-existing base, but uh, this shed, the footprint is a lot larger and in a different orientation than our old one. So I just started by uh, clearing out the area, uh, digging, the, digging the pit here, as you can see, uh, to the proper dimensions of the shed. Um, we used uh, clear stone to fill up the, uh, the hole. And you can see I have a green line landscaping cloth, which helps um, add tensile strength to the base. Um, because there's a pre-existing base here on the left, we didn't have to clear that out. It was already compacted. Um, so I ended up just building uh, the base on top of that one. So uh, here you can see it's all finished up. Uh, we have about 12 inches of clear stone in the, the new part and about six inches over the old base. And it's all held together by the landscaping cloth. Next up, we had to build the forms, which you pour the concrete into and it holds the concrete in place. And of course, I planned all this uh, beforehand because you want at least six inches of overbase around your, your concrete forms. Uh, this is the morning of the day the concrete came. And as you can see, I have my uh, wire or sorry, steel uh, reinforcing mesh. Uh, concrete has great compressive strength, so you can push down on it a ton. But when it comes to getting pulled apart, that's where it has this weakness. So by adding this mesh, you increase the strength of the, the concrete. This is a picture here of the, the truck. It's a, a mix on site concrete truck. So you're only charged for the concrete that you use. And I couldn't film the, the process of the concrete. It's, it's a time sensitive thing and uh, it slipped my mind on the, the day. But as you can see here, uh, concrete has been poured in, the wire mesh has been, as we were pouring it, we lifted it up so it was kind of floating right in the center, not lying right on the ground. And um, yeah, after a little bit, uh, when the concrete hardened, I settled my anchor bolts in, which is what I will anchor the walls to, so that it doesn't move on top of the concrete pad. And finally here you can see, this is about three days later, I've taken off the forms, um, uh, and of course, I added a nice broom finish on the top, so it has a bit of bit of a uh, grip. And uh, yeah, uh, to note, the concrete pad, the actual the top of it, is about three to four inches above the grade of um, the existing ground. On the the left side here, it's about five inches, and on the back side, it's about four inches. And this is just to prevent uh, snow melt from getting uh, on top of the concrete pad. So any water that does accumulate along the side of the shed, it goes down into the base, uh, hence the clear stone base, and doesn't affect the, uh, the wood or rot it out. So I let the concrete pad set for two weeks, allowing it to reach about 90% of its final strength. And uh, now it's ready to be built on. So here's my uh, wall plans. This is for the, the front, the entrance, three top windows. Uh, so this is the side, and then the other two sides, the adjacent one to this, and then the, the back is pretty pretty simple, 16, or stud 16 inches on center. To give you guys an idea of what the shed's going to look like, this is a quick thing I, I drew up in about 10 minutes, hence the uh, not so straight lines. But it's going to have a siding here that's going to match our house. Um, it's going to have a nice brown uh, trim along the windows uh, and, and roof. And then we're gonna have cedar, thin cedar strips that go all the way along and into um, underneath the, the overhang of the roof and nice double sliding uh, cedar barn doors. So uh, this is my supply of wood here. Got a bunch of half inch four by eights. And of course, we have all the wood here, which I, uh, I picked up over the last week. So uh, yeah, let's get started.